Are you a parent with a toddler that has way too many Cheerios lying around? That's what happened to me and I needed to find a way to use them up. That's why I'm making today some three ingredient cereal bars. They're a sweet no-bake treat that couldn't be easier to make and the whole family can enjoy. And I promise you that those extra Cheerios will be gone in a snap. So come on, grab your box of Cheerios and I'll show you how to make these. What's up, universe? Welcome back to my kitchen. And in case you're new here, I'm Julie Yoon. I'm a chef, I'm a mom, and for this season of our show, our focus is on some easy and yummy snacks that we can actually execute and film while our son Lincoln naps. With all that said, I think it's time to make some three ingredient cereal bars. What you're gonna need is plain Cheerios, peanut butter, and honey. This is almost embarrassingly not a recipe. It's so easy to make, but you know what? I feel like sometimes just watching a technique helps, right? You're gonna start out with a half a cup of peanut butter. So this is like regular, like Skippy, Jif, that kind of peanut butter. Can you use natural peanut butter or say something else like almond butter? You know what? I really don't know because I haven't tried it. I think it should be okay because you're just looking for something gloppy. I don't know, if you want to give it a try, let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. And then you're going to use a third of a cup of honey. So you're just going to pour that in and let these two mingle. Sometimes it helps to spray your measuring cup with a little bit of nonstick spray so that the honey will just slide out. I've seen some recipes out there where you're using one to one as a ratio, and I can understand where that's coming from because you're essentially making a glue that's holding together your Cheerios, kind of like the concept of Rice Krispie Treats. So I guess more honey, the stickier it is, the better it holds. But to me, I find it a little bit too sweet. Actually, even with a third of a cup, for my preference, I think it's still on the sweeter side, but I think you need a little bit of it just so that it holds together. This is gonna go on about medium low heat for about three minutes or just until it all comes together and melts nicely. Just make sure you stir it every now and then, and you're just looking for some ribboning, like that. Okay, that looks good. So while it's nice and ribbony, glossy and smooth, that's when you grab your Cheerios in a bowl. I'm using three and a half cups of plain Cheerios. You don't wanna use any kind of sweetened Cheerios, even multigrain or honey nut, because it'll be too sweet. And if you have a little toddler or little baby, then you probably have this in your pantry already. And I think Lincoln's just at the stage where he's kind of outgrowing it. We had a good run. He's two years old now. So he was fine just eating plain Cheerios. But now I think he's kind of bored of them. So now we just have like an excess. So this is coming out of pure realistic necessity. Then you're just gonna toss and coat until every single little Cheerio is covered with a glossy mixture. It's tempting to just grab a spoon and eat it right out of the bowl. And then you're just gonna grab yourself an eight by eight pan. So I'm just using this little square one right here. And then you're gonna cut down a piece of parchment that fits inside. And if it looks like it's just rising up, it might help to use a little bit of nonstick spray just to weigh it down. So there. And now it's kind of glued down to the bottom. Okay, and then you're just going to dump this right into your parchment paper. The parchment paper helps the Cheerios not to stick to the dish because we're not baking this. This is a no-bake recipe, but it is going to spend time in the refrigerator. And then once it hardens, you want to be able to lift it out easily. And you can see how this little square baking dish is the perfect size for this amount. I'm just going to grab a spatula and push the Cheerios to all the corners. Try to get it nice and even. The first couple times I made this, cause you know, these kinds of recipes are all over Pinterest. I was wondering why my Cheerios kept falling apart. The key is you really have to press the living daylights out of them because you're not baking it and all it's relying on 
is the peanut butter and honey hardening up in the fridge. I can't help myself. Mmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with peanut butter and honey. If you were already using a measuring cup to measure out your peanut butter, you can use the bottom of that. You can use the bottom of a bowl or a cup. Just anything that will allow you to have more impact. Because, like I said, you really want to take the time to firmly press without crushing and crumbling your Cheerios. And that's it. So we're just going to pop this in the fridge for about an hour. You need that chill time to allow it to solidify. And then we're just going to unveil it and cut it into pieces. All right, so it's been about an hour and we're just gonna, oh, and it is nice and firm, I can tell. I'm gonna use this little parchment and perfect. And you can cut it any way you want. You can cut it in like long bar form if you want, but because I didn't put a ton of honey in it, I'm afraid the smaller I cut it, the more crumbly it'll get. I think I'm going to go for about 16 pieces from this one 8 by 8 square. Wow, that crunch. Yay, it held together, guys. I mean, the more time it spends in the fridge, the easier time you'll have having it hold together. I mean, I guess if you want to be super generous, you could leave it in these long bar forms, but I think that's a little bit too much cereal treat for me, so I'm going to cut it smaller. All right, they're so cute and a little crumbly, and so now I think all there is left to do is taste it. I know this is no surprise to you how these taste because I make this often these days, so but we'll just taste it for you guys again. And these are best served cold. Actually, I think they have to be cold because they'll start to crumble apart as they get to room temperature. So the longer they stay in the fridge, the better luck you'll have with cutting them and the better luck you'll have without them crumbling apart. Well, these are pretty solid as it is, so. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. <laughs> it's not surprising because yeah, I had even these this morning for breakfast. <laughs> So. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm trying to get rid of our Cheerios for sure. Okay, ours is crumbling apart, but my batch before this wasn't because I kept it in the fridge overnight. This one, we're like rushing <laughs> to film this, so it's not that solid yet. But you get the concept, right? Nice and sweet. But not too sweet. But not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I guess you were saying about the honey, like the amount mm -hmm. you put in, it gets a little harder, but then it gets a little too sweet. Yeah. I just want a glass of milk with this because it's so peanut buttery. Yeah, actually a glass of milk will be really good. Or even um, a cup of coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. This is a great snack to have even in the morning or on the run or you know when you just have like that Snickers moment where you're just like hangry in the middle of the day. <laughs> this is a great thing to just keep in your fridge. So anyways, there's not much to say to this except for they're just sweet and satisfying peanut buttery goodness. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed watching this recipe, then please let us know by pushing like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell for notifications so that you know every time we post a new video. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.